it comes to upgrading our brain power, too many of us think in terms of wholesale improvement. We want to increase our IQ or our attention, and generally we seek to level up as though we were a Pokemon or a Dragon Ball Z character. With nootropics and brain training, it's certainly possible to add a couple of IQ points for what that's worth. And perhaps with enough brain training, we might be able to slightly increase our attention. But that's not the only way to increase brain power, and it's probably not the most practical. Instead, I invite you to think of your brain in terms of its skill set. Skills include specific knowledge, techniques, and abilities that can enhance our ability to use our brains practically. A skill might be the ability to think in another language, it might be ambidexterity, it might be speed reading, it might be visualization or it might be memory techniques. In these scenarios, you are not smarter as such but you have the option to utilize skills that will help you be more productive and more creative nonetheless. Developing a perfect memory is something that anyone can work towards, and this has a ton of practical benefits in real life situations. Read on to discover some of the best methods you can use to increase your ability to retain information. Leveling up your memory with brain training. If you're intent on leveling up your memory, then you have the option to do that through a number of techniques. One option is to use some form of brain training. And here there is one strategy that stands out above the rest. Steps back you are looking and of course it becomes harder the more information you need to retain. But here's where you need to start, being a little discerning. The usefulness of improving your working memory, is questionable, and the amount of work you'd need to do to see results is significant. Working memory, is the type of memory we use while carrying numbers, during mental arithmetic and it's how we remember phone numbers briefly, while looking for a pen. There are very few scenarios, where increasing working memory, by a measly two digits would be helpful, and rather the focus should be on converted working, and short term memories to long term. Working memory can therefore be a useful skill, to develop alongside others, and will help to support memory retrieval. But beyond a certain point dual and back will deliver diminishing returns. Using, nootropics. What can help, is to use nootropics. One of the most popular nootropics, for enhancing memory specifically is, acetylcholine by far. This is one of the key excitatory neurotransmitters, and has been shown in countless studies to aid the formation, of long-term memories, as is the case for nicotine and some other substances. Finally, any nootropics, that increase neuroplasticity via BDNF or other factors may also improve long-term memory formation, and long-term potentiation. These include the likes of lion's mane mushroom, and magnesium 3 and 8. The best nootropic of all for strengthening brain function though. That is sleep by far, which can help you to store more memories and to upgrade your focus. Focus, and attention. Useful to consider, is the strong link, between attention, and memory generally. Of course, you need to be attentive to stimuli, for it to be encoded as memory, and thus any nootropic that increases dopamine, or other catecholamine neurotransmitters, serotonin, histamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, could have this effect. The most exciting example of this is perhaps seen in examples of flashbulb memories. These are incredibly vivid recollections we have, for shocking events, and often we can remember very specific details of our surroundings, and circumstances when we got married, when we got divorced or when we first saw the 9-11 attacks on the news. This could partly, be due to increased rehearsal of these significant memories, but it is also likely due to the heightened attention, we would have given those moments due to increases in dopamine and other chemicals. Training your attention, and focus then is a great way to improve your memory, and your recall. To do this, you could try practicing meditation, or using the aforementioned dual and back. Finding ways to make the memory more interesting and engaging can also help. Memory, palace. 
But perhaps, the best way to improve your long-term memory storage, is to improve your ability to use the memory you already have. Memory masters are individuals, who compete to memorize, the orders of packs of cards, and perform other memory feeds. To accomplish this, they use a range of techniques, and mnemonics to improve their categorization, and retrieval of information. Again though, you need to think about context. You probably have no real need to memorize a pack of cards, and more likely you'll benefit from learning more dynamic information, facts, and skills. One way you can do this, is with the memory palace technique. This utilizes our strong visual memories, in order to remember lists of objects, important facts, and more. Popularly depicted in the BBC series Sherlock, the technique involves picturing a real, or imagined location, and then visualizing certain cues in specific locations, around that visualized location. This is related to the method of loci, that has been used for hundreds of years, by indigenous tribes, and early men. This technique was used to help, store large amounts of information within a culture, before the use of the printing press, or internet. This method is similar to using rooms, or places within a building, but instead focuses, on a particular route. Sages would memorize routes, around their local area, and would then visualize these routes, and place memories at specific landmarks along the way. This technique is extremely effective, because it takes advantage of the brain's propensity, for learning navigation, something which has far more survival value, from a historical, and evolutionary perspective as compared with dry facts. Chances are you can memorize the route, from your home to work, so why not picture that route and place images in your mind's eye, along the way that will help you, to remember things. This technique can be used to memorize, and recite entire passages of text. Spaced, learning. For revising a subject, one very useful tool is spaced learning. This method, involves learning for three blocks of 15 minutes, with two 10 minute breaks in between that feature distractor activities. This enforces the ideas, and then requires you to retrieve them again, just as they would be about to leave, the short term memory. The reason this, appears to work so well is that, it allows you to hack the brain's learning mechanisms, so that you will be rehearsing different facts, and ideas after what the brain will perceive, as a period of absence. This has the effect of, rehearsing the same subject lots of times, rather than just rehearsing it once, but for longer. The result is more rewiring of the brain, more neurochemical activity, and faster long-term potentiation, a fancy word meaning formation of new connections within the brain. The very best way to strengthen your memory though, use all these different methods together. Learn to improve your focus and your working memory so that you become better at attending to the information you're trying to learn. Use nootropics, to enhance your brain health, and then use memory palaces and spaced learning to help cement different types of information. The key lesson to take from this though, stop trying to improve memory across the board, stop trying to boost IQ and don't worry about attention. Instead, think about what you're trying to achieve and what cognitive skills would benefit you. Then focus on the specific training, nutrition, and nootropics to help you get there. 